Hello everybody, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my tag response to Don Don Raiden's Summer Backlog video of 2011. Um, I have five games picked out here that I'm really working hard, um, that I'm going to work really hard on beating this summer, and then I also have a small list of games that I'm also going to try and um, complete if these games get completed. But these games right here are top First priority. First game we have here is Super Mario Land 2, uh, the six golden coins. I popped this in yesterday, and I actually already have four of the six golden coins. This game's really not very long, but it's a lot of fun. A great platformer for your Game Boy if you don't have it already. So I'm probably going to end up either beating this today or sometime this week, because it's really just not that long of a game, but a lot of fun. The next game we have here I actually have been tweeting about quite a bit, and that is... The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. Now I'm pretty new to this, well I'm not really new to the series, but um, The Ocarina of Time um, was really the only game that I really, really got into as far as Zelda games go. Uh, but Link to the Past is um, really great. I'm really, really enjoying it and I'm um, really excited to get more into the series um, because of this. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. I'm about six hours in, so um, I'm really close to beating it. But, um, you know, I should be able to beat this for the next couple weeks as well, so I'm really excited um, about hopefully completing this very soon. And like I said, I'm on a Zelda craze. I also am trying to complete Zelda The Spirit Tracks for the Nintendo DS. I got the Collector's Edition Guide, which has been a tremendous help because I am just puzzle illiterate, basically. I am so bad at puzzles, it's pretty pathetic. Um, so the Collector's Guide has helped me out a lot. Um, it's been my companion to get through some of these dungeons. But I'm in the Fire Realm right now, um, working my way through that. So I'm pretty far into the game. I'd say over 50% at this point. And um, I'll be able to complete this hopefully before I go on vacation um, on the 25th of June. Because I want to start another DS game, which I have in my other pile that I'll show you later. Um, but yes, Zelda Spirit Tracks, really enjoying it. A lot of fun. Not as fun as the, uh, A Link to the Past, but I'm still really... We have another DS game, and that is, of course, an addition to my favorite series of all time. The Kingdom Hearts... The Kingdom Hearts? Yes. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, add in that little title. The Kingdom Hearts Recoded um, for the Nintendo DS. I only got, like, uh, four hours into this, but then I got to a boss that kind of stumped me, so I stopped playing, which um, is not like me when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, but... I'm going to look up um, maybe some tips on how to beat the boss and definitely try and complete this to its entirety because I love Kingdom Hearts and um, I'm really excited about trying to finish this. The final game we have here that I'm going to, that is a priority to complete this summer, um, is a game that I played growing up quite a bit. It was one of my favorite games on the PlayStation um, 1, but I never actually completed it just because I had the attention span of an ant. And I never played the game to its entirety. And that is Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation 1. Just a, an incredible RPG. Um, one of my, probably my favorite in the Final Fantasy series, just because I haven't played very many in this series. But um, just a very enjoyable RPG. And I'm hoping to complete this game. I'm going to start from scratch, right from the beginning, and uh, just try and play through this sucker. I know it takes 30 plus hours to beat, but... Um, I think I can do it, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys up to date um, as far as how many games I've completed and how many games I have to go as a summer progresses. Alright, so the next we have a small pile of games um, that if I complete all of those, that I'm going to try and work on these. So the first one we have here is Super Mario All-Stars all for the Wii. Um, I have this for Super Nintendo, and I have all three carts for the NES. So I could play these in, you know, pretty much any form that we have available. I also have them on Virtual Console. The Nintendo is just driving me bankrupt, pretty much. But anyways, um, you can save in this, so that's why this is going to be my console of choice to beat it on. Um, I'm already halfway through Mario Brothers 1, but I am just so bad at this game, it's kind of depressing. But um, I love it. I just, it's so much fun, it's so addicting. The frustration is what keeps me coming back. I don't know why, but, you know, I enjoy it. So, it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to try and beat this if I complete all those games. And another game that I've completed um, a million times, but I still want to complete it again, that's Resident Evil 4 from the PlayStation 2. Um, I only played through it on the Wii a dozen times over, um, so hopefully I can get a, you know at least one playthrough through this um, sometime this summer on the PlayStation 2, just because it is such an incredible game, my favorite in the series, and um, why not complete it for the umpteenth time, you know? 
The next game we have here is God of War. I got stuck on this. Um, I'm in Act 4. I have to beat like these giant three-headed dogs. I just cannot beat them for the life of me. I have the strategy guide, but that wasn't very helpful because the strategy guide isn't the one with the controller in our hands. It's me, who is not very great at this game. But um, I'm going to try and beat it. So, yeah, if you guys have any tips for beating those dogs, if you remember exactly what I'm talking about, post a comment in the bo uh, box below because I can't do it for the life of me. But um, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think it's a little overhyped um, as far as, you know, the fan base behind the game, but it's still a lot of fun. So I'm going to try and do The next that. game we have here is another Final Fantasy game, and that's Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII um, for the P PSP. Um, a lot of fun. I'm actually um, on Chapter 9, I believe. I think there's like 12, 13 chapters within the game. But it's a lot of fun. And I'm stuck on Sephiroth. There's two parts to the boss. If you guys if you guys have played through the game, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, then I'm going to be speaking Chinese to you right now. But Sephiroth is um, a dude in the game. And I complete the first part of the boss. But then when you're on this little bridge and he's like trying to push you back off the bridge... I can't beat that part, so if you guys have any tips for that, let me know. But, um, you know, up until that point, the game was kind of a breeze for me to play through. It really wasn't very difficult. But um, it's an action RPG similar to Kingdom Hearts, which is why I love it. And the, um, the battle system was very similar to Kingdom Hearts. Very um, easy to get used to. Um, and, uh, you know, not a whole lot of upgrades and things to worry about as far as armor and magic and stuff like that. You don't really have to customize your character very much, which... I enjoy an RPG sometimes, um, you know, it's just not very hardcore, and I like that about this game. But it's a lot of fun, and I'm hoping to beat Sephiroth, so if any of you guys have any tips for that, let me know. The final game we have here, um, I'm very sad to say that I've never played this game, because so many people that own the DS are obsessed with this game, especially, um, Happy Console Gamer. Johnny spent, like, I don't even know how many hours, he spent, like, probably ten episodes of the podcast trying to beat this game. Um... And that's Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Um, I know Matt um, is a huge fan of this game, Digital Sunset, um, as well as, you know, a million other people here in the gaming community. I've just never played it. I got it for Christmas um, during the... Um, my dad bought it during the Black Friday sale. And I haven't played it yet, but it looks like a lot of fun. You get to customize and make your own character. And um, ever since I saw Seth Green with the DSi XL playing this game... That's actually what convinced me to get this game. I don't know why, but Seth Green's awesome. So, yeah. If you guys have played this game, let me know what your thoughts are. I know most of them are probably going to be positive, but I need to play this game pronto. Those are all the games that I'm planning on beating this summer. Like I said, those first five are priority. Uh, especially Final Fantasy VII. I really, really want to complete that game uh, just because it's such a phenomenal RPG. Very well done. And um, I think the fan base behind it is... Um, it makes sense just because it's such a well-done RPG and uh, really set the standard as far as RPG goes since then. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. I have many more videos planned for the rest of the summer. Um, like I said, I'm out of school, so I can make videos pretty much whenever, even though I'm working like 40 hours a week. Um, I still make time for you guys, because you guys are important, too. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time.